gastroenterologist in Man's Navy Hospital uh, and I'm a senior uh, consultant here. And as everybody has been affected by COVID-19, we all have to stay at home, have to take precautions of uh, social distancing and wearing a mask. The most common symptoms in coronavirus is uh, fever, cough and breathlessness. And this occurs in almost 99% uh, of the patients. There are uh, few symptoms which are outside the respiratory system and this can be uh, nausea, vomiting or diarrhea which are mainly uh, gastrointestinal related symptoms. These uh, symptoms can occur even before the onset of cough and fever and this occurs in 10 to 13 percent of the patients. So 90 percent will have respiratory system but we should also be aware that gastrointestinal symptoms uh, can occur and it is though uncommon but we have to keep that at the back of the mind and uh, treat it when gastrointestinal symptoms occur. Uh, however, uh, we can take an approach that those uh, patients who have mild symptoms can be sent home just like the respiratory symptoms and those who have severe symptoms with dehydration and those who need to be studied, we can order a COVID-19 uh, test for those. Organ which is affected by uh, COVID-19 is the liver. So often when the patients come in, they have elevated liver enzyme, they may have jaundice and their uh, liver is affected just like any other hepatitis case. So this also we have to keep in mind and investigate accordingly. Now it has been said uh, that with other virus, respiratory viruses, if we take plant-based diet, there's an anti-inflammatory effect. It is advised that one takes a, a plant-based diet consisting of fruits, vegetables uh, and uh, juices. Uh, this would uh, improve the uh, symptoms and may help in preventing the virus. So these, these are the areas I wanted to cover during uh, this episode of uh, coronavirus.